So thank you so much for joining me today, Holly. If you could just introduce yourself, uh, tell us all what your job title is and how long you've been working for um, your organization. Sure. So my name is Dr. Holly Sweat. I am a my technical title is biologist. I work for the Smithsonian Marine Station in Fort Pierce, Florida. Um, we're actually part of the Greater uh, National Museum of Natural History that's in Washington, D.C. And I have been with the Smithsonian on and off since straight out of undergrad since 2002. But in this stint as um, a staff member, as a PI, I've been on the staff for about um, three years. That's awesome. Yeah. And so I'm going to um, just ask you to reflect on this theme of the day in the life of your job at the Smithsonian Institute. So you can tell So can you tell me a little bit about what your typical day is like? Sure. So <laughs> this is an interesting question because I don't really have a typical day. And mm -hmm. that's part of what I really love about my job so much. So as a PI of the Benthic Ecology Lab at the the Marine Station, we have several different projects and all of those require, you know, sort of juggling different management activities. So from day to day, I could be writing a paper or a report or doing data analysis or being in the field um, at a conference. So every day is a little bit different. It keeps it kind of exciting. That's awesome. And so you mentioned like getting to be in the office and getting to be in the field. And so how much time do you usually spend in um, both of those areas? I spend a lot more time in the office. Yeah, um, It's not something that is, when you first get into marine science, I think you want to make sure you're in the field more. That's kind of your goal. But <clears throat> for the type of processing that we do for this long-term monitoring, that's a big part of our lab's um, objectives. Pretty much every day we spend in the field equates to about three to six weeks in the lab. So there's a whole lot of time you know, processing samples and analyzing data. We're in awesome. the la in the field for about um, for about two months out of the year to do okay. our work, and then the rest of the time is in the lab. All right, awesome. And so in your position, um, are there any supervisory roles that you play? I do. So I have a, a lab group that changes over time, depending on what projects we have going on. We also had a, a lot of early career scientists that'll come in for short periods of time and then leave to go off to grad school or other opportunities. So, you know, I'll be managing a lab group of kind of four to eight people, depending on what's going on. And that ranges from uh, interns to fellows, postdocs, um, and employees. Yeah. Awesome. And so in, um, I just want you to reflect on this last question that we're asking all of our panelists. So when thinking about um, what a typical day is like working for the Smithsonian Institute, what is one piece of advice you would have given yourself from the beginning of your career journey? Mm. I think the biggest thing is just to make sure you have fun and get excited. I mean, asking questions and being curious and being excited, I think is a cornerstone of being a good scientist. So just trying to come back to that all the time and not let, you know, all of the other things that you've got to do that are part of this career bring you down. Um, just always think about why you got into this in the first place. That's such great advice. Thank you so much. You're welcome.